Welcome to the Easy Technosis video tutorials. This video is about adding a new user to Easy Centrix or Easy Reservation System. Let's quickly log in to Easy Centrix. Upon logging in, we are now redirected to this page. From where we have to click on the drop down arrow, appearing at the top right corner of the title bar showing the name of the user logged in currently and click on users option we will now click on the add new button and here we have to fill all the required fields one by one please note the one with the asterisk signs are the mandatory fields let us create a user named manager in the short code field we will enter a short code for the user, let us enter remng here, as a short code for the manager user. We will now select the appropriate user role from the list of the options available in this select box. In the username field, we will enter manager, as we are creating the username manager. This is the name which the user needs to enter in the username field, on the software login page. The language field has two options to select. The default option is applicable for the English language, and custom is applicable for the secondary language, if any enabled in the system. Let us select the language as default here. We will now set the user password in this field. The password we enter must satisfy the criteria as shown in the suggestion box. In the field, show last digits of CC. We can define the number of last digits of the credit card number to be shown to the particular user. This should be a numerical value. Let us enter 3 in this field. This will make the last three digits of the guest's credit card number visible to the manager user. In the mobile number field, let us enter the mobile number of the user. After defining these fields, we will now assign the privileges to the user. We can define the privilege to access various modules of the system by checking the checkbox appearing before each individual module. The ones which are not to be accessed should be kept unchecked. Similarly, the privilege to access various reports of the system can be defined by selecting the name of the reports from the list available here. Let's scroll through the list to see all the available reports and assign the privileges accordingly. Once finished to enter all the files we will now click on the save button to create the user. This is how we can add a new user to the system. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video please click on the like button. Or if you would like to share your valuable feedback please write it on email address cm at